welcome back all my nail art lovers it's time for another advanced stamping nail tutorial so these are the base colors that i'm using and i'm using this fabulous sugar bubbles plate number 12 and then i always clean off my plate with acetone before use so then i obviously i'm taking off the jasmine image You can see that that picks up really nicely and then obviously you've got the Jafar image. I hated him when I watched this as a child, he really annoyed me but obviously he's meant to be because he's the baddie. So I'm just uh, filling in uh, Jasmine's jewellery, obviously she has the gold, big gold earrings and gold necklace. Just filling in the gaps like so. And then I go on and I, I do the headband in like, this is like a mint green that I'm putting on as the band and then um, it's like a tealy colour for the gem that she has on her headband. And then I'm using the same colour to go around the outside of the frame, like so. So it's really simple to do. Um, obviously I'm speeding this up for the video but just take your time and just place it on there and um, I guarantee you'll love this way of um, stamping just because it's so easy and obviously you can take something like this and add loads of colour and make it really really nice which you won't be able to do with a normal stamping technique. So for this I'm just adding the teal around the frame and then the skin colour on Jafal's face because there isn't much else that I can add. So then I'm adding the uh, lamp on the other nails. I kind of started off using these themes. These don't tend to stamp that well. Um, so, I mean, I'm using it because I've started off using them as this theme, but I don't think I'd probably use them in my own design, but I would use these uh, face images because I think they're fantastic. So, uh, although it looks like I'm kind of like stabbing at the plate, I'm not. You put it on really slowly and don't drag it across because you'll smudge the image on the plate. So once it's completely dry, you can just go around, use your tweezers to prise it off the stamper. But obviously be careful with them, obviously they're fragile, it is only a, a dried piece of top coat. <laughs> so don't be too vigorous and rough with them because they could end up tearing. And then, um, like all the other ones, you just cut off as much top coat uh, from around the image as you can. I'm just going ahead and done that with both of them. And then I'm applying this top coat to the nail. It's not a gel top coat. Where I do it just because it will dry and as it's drying it's a bit tacky. So that's what I'm using. And obviously I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle. So then I just take the tweezers and place it down on the nail. And then you just use your finger and sort of put it on the nail where you want it and then pat it down onto your nail like so. so I'm just going to do exactly the same with Jafar. So this is what the design looks like all together. I've really enjoyed doing this Disney uh, series of nail art. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it too. Please tell me in the comments box below if you have done and thank you once again for watching my channel. Bye.